Hi and welcome to our business owner training forum on how to keep your customers coming, how to sell them more and how to get them boasting about you. My name is Colm Kelly with Do Business Smarter and in this session I'm going to share with you specific strategies to how to get more from your existing customers, not by pressuring them, but how to offer them more and have your turn your customers into raving fans for your business. Because all too often we're so focused on trying to get that first time new customer that we're not t paying enough attention to the people we already have and it's so much easier to keep an existing customer than it is to find a new one. So let's jump in. We're going to talk about your customer life cycle, your lifetime customer value, really getting clear on when people do business with you whether it's a transaction or an experience and understanding your customer base marketing and how to create top of the mind awareness and having a plan as to how to do this and then automating your campaigns. All right, you get a new customer and they're kind of skeptical as to what it is you're going to do and they, they have that fear, that price fear, that performance fear and they're wondering, you know, are you going to do everything you said you were going to do when you sold them? And then hopefully they experience your product and service and they start thinking, oh, this is actually pretty good, it's not bad, I'm getting a little more open to it. And after a while, maybe they're a repeat customer and they're quite happy with your products and services. And then if you're, if you're really good at all that, you get these raving fans with massive smiling faces telling everybody about you. And that's, your, you know, that's a really good customer cycle. The thing is, it doesn't happen automatically. You've got to take the time to nurture and build that type of relationship with your clients as opposed to just signing them up and then hoping they're going to be okay. And to do this properly, you've got to understand the lifetime customer value. You know, let's say I own a, a cafe, like a lunch cafe. Well, I might have an average client that comes in and spends $10 on lunch. And, and so often, I see where the business owner is thinking, okay, well, my customer spends 10 bucks. So that's what the customer is worth, and that's not true. If the customer spends $10 on lunch, but they come in three times a week, they come in 4.2 weeks per month, 12 months of the year, and unless they move or I move in that industry, they're going to stay around for about seven years. It's $10 a transaction. It's $30 a week, it's $126 per month, it's $1,512 per year, and it's a $10,584 customer. And the reason that's so important, folks, is because when you get into doing this for your business, it's important to understand the investment that I'm asking you to make in each customer is based on the total life value, not based on a transaction. Because you can't build a business on transaction, you build a business on loyal repeat customers. So what I'm going to recommend you do is pause this video right now and take a minute and work out what is the total life value of your customer. What's a, how, what's a typical transaction, how much do they spend a week, how much do they spend per month, how many years do they stay with you, how much do they spend per year and figure out that total life value of the customer. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll wait for you <laughs> and then come back and we'll jump into the next step. Great, got it done? Welcome back. So when people do business with you, I want you to really think hard and think about is it a transaction or is it an experience? Because I can get transactions anywhere but I'll come back for an experience. If you think about it, if you go out to a restaurant and you expect to spend $100 and you expect to get a decent meal and you go out and you spend $100 and you get a decent meal, do you go, wow, I got exactly what I was expecting? No, you don't. I mean, people don't talk about their experiences unless they're a wow experience. If you get exactly the status quo that you were expecting, you don't go out and boast about people. You might say it's consistent, but you don't go out and, and tell people about it. If you really want the word of mouth campaign to be in your favor, you have to create a wow experience for the customer every time. And so think through, what does that look like? And we're going to go to a little workshop here in a minute to help you with that. But really thinking through, what is the customer experience when they do business with you? 
and think through small things that you can do to be different than the competition. And that's what creates a phenomenal customer service experience. Okay, so we're going to be separating customer service from your customer based marketing. They're connected, but not directly. Customer service is what the customer experiences while they're doing business with you. Your customer based marketing is what's happening between the times they're doing business with you. So what you want to do during this workshop is pull up the customer service plan document or PDF. And I want you to fill out the left hand side first. We're going to do this for a number of different types of customers. When you have that first time customer, that skeptical first time customer, and they may not be skeptical in your case, they may be excited, they may be jumping for joy, whatever it is. But I want you to think about what are they, f what, you know, before the transaction. So they've already bought in, but they haven't, they haven't experienced your product or service yet. What are they feeling before the transaction? Are they nervous, skeptical, fearful, excited? You know, what are they feeling before, for that first time customer, before they experience your product or service? And then come down, still on that left hand column, during the service or transaction, what are they feeling then? Are they still anxious? Are they getting excited? Are they getting comfortable? What are they feeling? And then after the service or transaction, what are they feeling? Maybe they're feeling relieved that it's over. Or maybe they're just excited. Maybe they're, you know, whatever it is. Just think about what are the, what's the customer feeling before, that first time customer, before, during, and after the transaction. And then come all the way over to the right hand column. And I want you to think about what do you want them to feel? What do you want that first time customer to feel before the service or transaction? What do you want them to feel during the service or transaction? So it might be you want them to feel at ease, you want them to feel relaxed and confident and maybe during it you want them to start being impressed. What do you want them to feel after the service or transaction? Maybe you want them to feel impressed that they got value, excited about the next step. Okay. So that's what they are feeling and what you want them to feel. And now what I want you to do is to fill in the gap, <laughs> I meaning that column in the middle. What are you going to do from a customer service standpoint to make them feel that way, to make them feel the way you want them to feel? What are you actually going to do from a customer service standpoint to make them, if they're skeptical, how are you going to put them at ease? It might be that you're going to send them an email before the visit. Maybe you're going to sit and chat with them first, explain the process. You know, what are you actually going to do? Maybe during the process, you're going to check in with them, give them success stories, maybe offer them an extra bonus to build value. Maybe when they are after the transaction, maybe you're going to thank them, schedule and explain the next step. What are you actually going to do? So take some time and, and think through what are they, what's that first time customer feeling before, during and after their first time using your service? What do you want them to feel and what are you going to do to make them feel that way? And then continue down. So now somebody's a second time customer. That customer has come back and go through that same process. What are they feeling this time? Maybe they're hopeful that it's going to be as good as the last time. What do, you, what, do they, what do you want them to feel? And what are you going to do to make sure they continue to feel that way? And go through that, and that and there's four or five pages in it for different scenarios. Then you have your regular customers. They come in one time, they come in a second time, and now maybe they're into a pattern of using you all the time. Well, what do you want the, your regular customers to feel before, during, and after the transaction? And then what if somebody's leaving? And, you know, maybe a customer is leaving, they're happy with you, but they're leaving town, though they can't use your service anymore. What might you do there? Or what if somebody's not happy? What are they feeling? What do you want them to feel? And what are you going to do to make that happen? So go ahead and uh, pause the video. Take a few minutes right now, even though I know you can do this later on, but take a few minutes right now and at least step through the first of those scenarios. Good, and welcome back. Good, so now you have a draft of 
what your customer service plan is going to be for each of those different scenarios and it's about the emotion of the client that's what you're trying to create that, that, that fantastic experience that the client has when they're doing business with you in detail because great customer service doesn't happen by accident it happens because it's planned and the bad news is when you don't have a good plan in place you know if you get a, somebody who's unhappy the numbers are that they you know if somebody's happy they may tell two or three people but when somebody's unhappy they will tell anywhere from 16 to 24 people so it's worth your time to take the time to really think through how are you going to create that wow customer experience at each stage of the relationship so now let's switch to your customer based marketing when you get a new customer they're super excited about doing business with you you're excited about doing business with them and the romance is strong and it's hot and it's and it's fantastic and everybody's excited about being together and then you move on to another new customer okay and often I talk to people and I'll say you know how many customers do you have in your database and they'll say oh you know I've got 500 customers in my database and I'll say great well when's the you know, of those 500 people how many of them have done business with you in the past year well maybe a hundred the analogy I use is you know so in your mind you've got you know you, you, you've got these 500 customers but it's kind of like you went on 500 first dates and you thought you got married but 400 of them are now dating somebody else a hundred of them are being loyal to you but 400 of them are gone somewhere else if they haven't done business with you in over a year depending on your cycle of a customer so you've got to have things in place to keep those customers in love with you you've got to keep that romance alive because with time the bloom goes off the rose and not that they don't like you not that they weren't happy with the service but if you don't have things in place to stay on top of their mind they just forget about you they get bored they feel ignored and eventually it gets to this situation where they don't even remember you and your job needs to be to have marketing in place to keep them in love keep that romance alive and in the process of doing that you want to be able to resell those customers you want to be able to cross sell those customers and you want to be able to upsell those customers meaning that you know the, the best cross-selling campaign ever was would you like fries with that and the best upselling campaign was would you like to get the large the large meal or would you like to get the meal rather than just the fries or whatever but if they come in to buy product number one that you're introducing them to product number two or if they bought the 24 ounce bottle last time you're offering them the 48 ounce this time that you're upselling them and cross-selling them not in a pushy way but in a way to service them better or maybe you have a loyalty card or a membership program or a loyalty app to be able to um, keep them coming back as customers your goal is to create top of the mind awareness with them and you can do that by offering them those upsells cross sells staying in touch with them sending them emails liking you know, getting them to like you on Facebook cr connecting with them on LinkedIn or YouTube or Twitter the goal is to keep them and keep your company on top of their mind when they think about wanting your types of products and services this time I want you to work from the document or the PDF that's about creating your customer based marketing plan this is separate than your customer service plan this is your customer based marketing and I want you to think through well, let's go through this example okay so you get a new client and so what are you going to do are you going to send them a welcome email or a thank you? Maybe you're going to send them a checking in email. What's the next step email? Maybe you do a new client orientation. Okay. And then think through when are you going to do it? Maybe it's one day after their first visit, seven days for, for the next thing, 14 days after that. And then think about who's going to do it. Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you and your CRM automation? Okay. Who's going to actually do that? So think through what are your steps going to be? When somebody comes in as a new client first when is that going to happen who's going to do it then you have a returning customer what are you going to do to get them to keep coming maybe you're going to send them a thank you card with a gift certificate one day after their second visit are you going to do it or is your admin assistant going to do it you maybe they haven't used the gift card so you're going to call them seven days later to schedule their appointment 
maybe 14 days after the second visit you're going to ask them for a testimonial or a Yelp review you're going to ask them for ask them to like you at face, in, on Facebook to connect with you 21 days later you know, just think about when are you going to do these things to make sure they stay top of your mind don't overdo it if that feels like once a week is too much for you make it once a month maybe this is a four month plan just decide whatever's going to fit for you and your business and then what are you going to do with a regular customer who's come in two three four times what are you going to do to stay on top of their mind so maybe you're going to do weekly blog updates and send them to them maybe that's going to happen one day after their second visit and who's going to do it maybe you're going to send them monthly specials a quarterly phone call a six month referral request send them a birthday card a holiday card annual anniversary lunch invite annual anniversary lunch that's the invitation and this is the actual lunch a random JTB call meaning just a just touching base call a random featured client and the idea being that you're gonna come up with ways to keep in touch with your client on a regular basis in a non salesy non pushy way but it creates a great relationship that makes you stay in touch so pause the video take the time to write out your customer based marketing plan on the second page alright welcome back so hopefully now you have two documents you have a document that's outlined what you want your customer to experience and what you're going to do to make that happen and you have another document now that's outlining what you're going to do with first-time customers what you're going to do to follow up with them what you're going to do with second-time customers to follow up with them and what your ongoing customer based marketing plan is going to be to keep in touch with your regular with your customers so now getting into technology a little bit think I don't know what CRM program you're using or what you're doing but if you've been watching many of our videos you know I'm a big fan of Zoho CRM with Zoho you can use their CRM program to automate so many steps in this you can create email templates for each different phase of the relationship that are templates that are set up and uh, you don't have to think about what you're going to say to every customer you know this is the email I send after our first meeting this is the email we send after our second meeting etc and you can create those templates within Zoho CRM and then you can use their workflow automation system you can have it set up that automatically it will send an email to that client a day later seven days later fourteen days later it'll remind you to call them six months later all those little pieces of the puzzle that you've built into it that can be set up as rules and and um, custom functions and and workflow rules to be able to execute your customer based marketing plan to make sure that you, you stay in touch with those clients and I strongly encourage you to it doesn't have to be Zoho CRM it can be any CRM program but make sure you use the technology that's available to us to automate all of these types of processes so you get a new customer you give them fantastic customer service you give them that wow experience you continue your marketing with them to turn them into loyal regular customers and at some point you want to get them boasting about you goal should be to ask them to give you a Yelp review a review on Facebook on Google Plus on any other social media or review site that you're that you're on and get as many five-star reviews as possible now quick note if you are if you are asking people for a Yelp review take a little bit of time and talk to them about have they done other Yelp reviews it's a good idea to have your people do a few Yelp reviews first on on other places before they review your company because that adds to their weight with Yelp and so just make sure they have a good reputation with Yelp and that they are giving you a five-star review to be able to um, stay in, to get the most bang for your buck out of their out of their review ask them for testimonials if they're not comfortable on Yelp and Facebook etc ask them to give you a written testimonial then you can feature it in different places so folks hopefully we've given you ideas to be able to, to to create that wow customer service experience and think through what is that emotion you want them to feel and what are the steps you're going to take to make that happen you're going to create the customer based marketing campaigns to keep in touch with everybody and turn them into loyal customers 
and then you're going to ask them either in an email or in person to give you a Yelp review or a testimonial to get them boasting about your products and services when you do this well folks when you get your customer base marketing and your customer service really nailed in this is the fastest way to grow a small business and so I really encourage you to take the action and get the results that you want from this strategy if you will let us know on our Facebook page what's been most valuable to you from this strategy and what next move you're going to make you can leave it in the comments below if there is a space for comments or um, you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash do biz smarter hopefully you found this helpful if you have questions get in touch with your coach and let's get these pieces into place for your business because they are vital and they will make a huge huge difference thank you so much we'll see you on the next video